you know, having this. Obviously, Camilla, it's, it's not going to be a hurricane when it arrives there because the right. water temperature and, and whatnot. But, you know, for even like Southern California and L.A., if they get two inches of rain in right. a day, that's a lot for them. That's, 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 that's could cause big, big problems. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's the flash flooding, I think, that's yeah. the biggest concern uh, for Southern California. So we'll take a look at those uh, rainfall estimates here in just a second. But let's take a look at the updated track here for Hurricane Hillary. So currently a Category 4 hurricane with wind speeds around 130 miles per hour, actually kind of teetering on a Category 3. So it is going to weaken as it kind of curves to the north as it approaches Baja, California. Uh, maybe grazing Baja. Baja, California as a Category 1 and then continuing into Southern California here, but should just be a tropical storm at this point. That being said, a lot of rainfall uh, on the way to those areas. So take a look. This is just one of our models, our Euro model. Uh, so anything you see in red is 2 inches, orange is 4 inches, yellow is 6 inches. So we're, we're looking at 2 to 6 inches of rainfall uh, through Tuesday afternoon uh, for a good swath of Southern California there. That's pretty significant. Now the moisture is going to continue to push to the north as we kind of get the remnants of the storm uh, heading into our region here. But at this point, models have really kind of curved the track a little bit further east. So the eastern third of Oregon maybe could be seeing some of this rainfall, but it's looking like at this point, even central Oregon, it might be a question mark as to whether we see any rain. I really don't think we're going to get any impacts west of the Cascades. Might just see some additional cloud cover, uh, maybe windier conditions too. So uh, Southern California and a good chunk of the southwest under flood watches Saturday through Monday because of that excessive rainfall. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that as it develops. All right, outside here in Portland, nice sunny day from our Rivermark Community Credit Union camera. It's 82 degrees. It's just lovely out there. This evening, we'll hang on to those clear skies, a little bit breezy, and we are going to be cooling down uh, quickly this evening. Uh, the bigger story, I think, is the wildfire smoke, so let's get into that smoke forecast. Uh, we're going to be pulling in smoke from Canada because our flow is going to be out of the northeast, so that wind is going to start to push the surface smoke uh, into the Pacific Northwest. So by by Saturday morning, I think we're still okay here in Portland and a good chunk of Oregon. Washington, of course, will, will already be seeing that smoke Saturday morning, but this is going to continue to drift southward. So by tomorrow afternoon, I think you're going to start to notice hazy skies, maybe even smell a little bit of smoke in Portland, and it's just going to continue to push south through the weekend. So unfortunately, we're in for a very hazy, smoky weekend here in Portland, both days uh, looking a little bit yucky, to be honest. So tomorrow, high temperatures in the upper 80s. Sunday will be even warmer, low 90s. Plus, it's going to be hazy. So we'll have to watch that air quality closely. You might want to uh, think about that before you make outdoor plans. Next week, though, looking nice. We'll switch back to that onshore flow. It's going to cool us back down into the 80s and clear our skies. We should stay in the 80s through Friday.